I learned this story long ago from a woman who was considered to be a very important teacher of Hawaiian hula, of stories and traditional songs. Her name was Winona Beamer. And the story I'm going to tell to you with the song she taught me is called The Legend of the Kahuli. Now in Hawaii, sometimes the storytellers accompany their stories with hand movements like in the hula. And that's what I'm going to do. And in case you would like to join me, I'm going to show you how to make some of the movements. First, the little kahuli. Put your hands out like this. Bring your fingers together and then put them down. And we're going to move slowly, slowly, because they're little tree snails and they don't move quickly. Then the next part is pretend you have a lay. Lift it over your head and then down. And then we're going to be birds. Put both your fingers on your shoulders, both hands, and then dip like you're flying, and dip like you're flying. And then the last thing I'm going to teach you is the Akalea fern or blossom. Put your fingers together just as we did when we were making the kahuli, and then we're going to pick and bring the flower up. You're actually going to be gathering nectar from the sweet Akalea blossoms. And now the story, the legend of the Kahuli. A long time ago, before any people came to the beautiful Hawaiian islands, kanes or vahines, it was such a quiet place. Colorful birds called the kolea flew among the giant hau trees and drank the sweet nectar of the akolea ferns and blossoms. And high up in those hau trees lived the tiny, tiny kahuli, the tree snails or shells. And every day they would climb down from way up high to where the akolea blossoms were because they also liked the sweet nectar of that blossom. And then they would drink and return home. Then one day, far out to sea, a huge boat that had never been seen before was spotted. It came closer and closer and landed on that shore. The first time it had ever happened. From that boat came huge animals and dropped upon the, on the land. High up in the trees, the little kahuli were very worried. Oh dear, they said. Listen to that, see that. If we stay up here, we will starve. But if we go down there, we'll be stepped on. How will we live? None of them knew what to do. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? They said over and over. And then the Akolea, their friends, the birds, flew up to them and said, we know what to do. We will go down from the how trees and gather the sweet nectar from the Akalea blossoms and bring it to you. And then you will be all right. And the Akalea leaves said, we will move aside so the birds can find our blossoms for you. Oh, the little coolie, they were so happy. They were going to be all right. They would not starve. But there was a problem. You see, in Hawaii, it's very important. The spirit of aloha is you always offer gratitude for what you have been given. And so that is what they were faced with. How can we give something to our friends, the kolea birds and the akolea ferns? And they had a meeting and they thought and thought and thought. And finally, the tiniest kahuli said, I know what to do. Every night of the full moon, we will sing to them. And so, if you go walking in the islands and you listen carefully on a night of the full moon, you might hear the little kahuli singing their songs of gratitude. Kahuli, Kahuli, 
Why I call me? Why I call me?